Hey there guys, hey we're back with a little bit more advice for how to edit Football Manager 2024. What we're going to look at today is something that um, comes up uh, every once in a while which is the squad registration rules and how to change those in the game. A little bit more complicated than I thought so let's just jump straight on into this. The first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to open up our uh, advanced uh, rules um, which means that we go over to rules, add nation rules. Uh, we're going to pick on uh, Germany again this time as we have in the past. So we go over to Germany. We want to add lower divisions and cups to existing structure. Hit on finish. And then once we're here, remember we have another step. We have to click on convert to advanced rules and then yes. It's cumbersome and it's a pain and that's sort of the way that it is. Once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is you need to go to the competition that you want to change. So we're going to go over here to uh, Bundesliga. There we go. Go through the drop down. And once you're under Bundesliga, we want to go to uh, our rules. Let's see if we can find this here. It's going to be under fixture, I'm sorry, match times and rules. There we go. And uh, after that, it's going to be fixture, or I'm sorry, match rules. And uh, after match rules, we have fixture rules index. What this tells us is which index in the country this corresponds to, right? I think that would be pretty simple, right? So you go back to Germany, you go under the, uh, the German tab, uh, Germany tab, and we want to take a look at uh, fixture uh, rules or match rules. There we go. And here's the index. So this is what it corresponds to. I consider this to be kind of an odd way of... Um, arranging all of this, but uh, basically every single thing in Germany that corresponds to match rules three have their rules found here. And this is where you'll get the highest division level, lowest division level, all this stuff, use team numbers, yes or no, um, and so on and so forth. Now you can click into that. And this finally is where you're going to find what we're looking for. Here are the squad registration periods. So you can change this to have different registration periods. You can uh, change all sorts of interesting things in here. Squad registration, day range, and things like that. And uh, you can also change your squad selection rules, which are rules such as certain numbers of homegrown players. You can uh, rule make a rule about, say, under 18 or under 19 players in the squad. You can make rules about the starting 11 or the playing 11, rules about the bench, rules about the overall squad rules, um, so uh, the composition of their overall squad and so on. You can make rules about the number of loan players you can have in a season, number of loan players out you can have in a season, and um, you can also make a couple of adjustments to the rules. For example, Chinese naturalized players in squad count as Chinese, which is interested. Ch uh, interesting. Um, this is mostly for uh, Chinese teams, I believe. Hong Kong, uh, Macanese, or Chinese Type A players don't count as foreign. Um, and uh, players in the match squad also don't count as foreign. Um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can find here to change. Now, if you're looking at changing more of what's going on here, you can move to some of these other rule sets. And you can see, at least here in Germany, as it's set up, um, it tells you um, what uh, the rules correspond to. So this is the uh, regional league, first division. There's regional 2013, which I suppose is an older form of the rules. Uh, here are the rules for under-19 squads and so on and so forth. And so you could um, change this around if you really wanted to. Um, this is what same nation players in match squad. Um, you have to have um, at least 12 and the or more than 12 players in the match squad from the same nation, which uh, makes sense for uh, Germany and so on and so forth. So there you have it. You could probably spend a lot of time just going through this for every single country and looking through the rules and trying to fix them to make them accurate. Or if you're trying to make your thing up yourself, you can create your own nation's nation full of rules, make a few changes here and there, and uh, see what happens. There you have it. That's the way that you get to those uh, squad selection rules and match uh, selection uh, rules and so on. Um, hope that's at least somewhat helpful. As you saw me struggle through it, it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to find. Talk to you again later. Bye-bye.